Red Arc's revolutionary Topo Elite is the benchmark in towing safety. Today, we will run through a Topo installation on a 2020 200 series Land Cruiser. We will be using a universal wiring kit, meaning you can use this video as a guide for most vehicles. For the installation of the Topo, you will need a range of tools, including a spanner set, socket set, screwdriver set, and side cutters. Along with the Topo Elite, you will need a Topo wiring kit, electrical tape, and a switch blank if available. The best way to attack your install is by first assessing where you'll be mounting the remote head and the main unit. It is worth considering if you want the remote on the driver's side or in the center of the vehicle so the passenger can also control the override in an emergency situation. To make your install easier, Red Arc have a variety of vehicle specific switch blanks to give the brake controller an OE look. If there is not a switch blank available for your vehicle, you will need to drill a 10 mm hole in a vacant switch blank. Next, fit the remote into the hole and tighten the retaining nut. Wind the remote fully anti-clockwise and place the knob onto the shaft with the zero pointing towards the 12 o'clock position. Next, we will need to remove some trims so that we can secure the main unit with the supplied bracket. The bracket can be bent to assist with installation in tricky areas. The main unit can be mounted in any orientation due to Red Arc's automatic calibration process. This means the Topo always knows its direction of travel, but the key to flawless operation is ensuring the main unit is securely mounted and cannot move. In order to supply power to the brake controller, we will need to connect to the start battery positive terminal. Pop the bonnet and assess a good entry point into the cabin from the engine bay for the fused power feed. The Topo wiring kits contain a variety of grommets which may suit unused locations on the vehicle. Most existing vehicle grommets have provision for additional wiring. These may also be used, so carefully feed the wire through the selected grommet. Do not connect the ring terminal to the battery at this stage. Only connect to power at the end of the installation. Move inside the vehicle cabin and pull the wire through the footwell. Now, run the cable through to the main unit, keeping clear of sharp edges and moving parts. Run the three core red, blue, orange cable down the side of the vehicle from the main unit location. Secure the cable to existing vehicle wiring where possible. Ensure it is retained at regular intervals of 200 millimeters and clear of sharp edges or moving parts. It is possible to secure to the chassis rail or similar with supplied cable ties. Do not secure the cable to fuel or brake lines. Once the cable has been run, move into the cab of the car to terminate the Topro main connector. Pay attention to the location of each wire as correct orientation of the wires is crucial. Secure the wires with the locking piece. Next, connect the earth terminal to a suitable body earth. Connect the Molex power connector and remote head cable to the main unit and secure the wires. Route the remote head cable and connect to the remote head. Move to the rear of the vehicle to remove the trailer base from its mount. Undo the cover to expose the wires. Remove the existing brake light trigger wire, which is the red wire, pin number six, and pull it out of the wiring harness. Feed this wire into the supplied joiner, lift the orange tab, insert the wire, and push the clamp back down. Push back into the rubber boot and close the cap to seal. Feed both the exposed red and blue wires at the end of the main cable into the trailer socket and connect the blue wire to pin number five. Connect the red wire to pin number six. If there is a blue wire already fitted to pin number five, pull this back outside the connector and tape it back, ensuring it is insulated and sealed. Refit the trailer base cover and remount to the vehicle. Connect the fused black wire to the battery positive terminal and we are ready to test the operation. Finally, secure any loose cables, snip cable tie ends and refit all the trims. To test your Topro, refer to our Topro test procedure video. For more technical information and resources, visit the Red Arc website.